Welcome, my gladiators. We are descending upon the Talbert Fortress. Attack! That's why I didn't kill that tree guard. I was going to show you what to do with him with hounds, but hell, we probably never would have found his dumbass. Hope I'm going the right way. All right, frogs, where are you? I did consider this when I built the base. I was thinking it would be better if it was closer. The frogs, that is. There they go. Boy, they're kicking the stuff out of the frogs today. WX may have to take a hand with his uh, lack of weapon here. Get out of it. Uh, I think the frogs have uh, not held up for us. Well, maybe. There's more frogs, finally. There we go. Froggy Armageddon. Froggy Giddon. Crystal Bowl 010 mentioned that I had missed a grave down here, one of the ones that didn't have a marker on it. And we'll probably get to that someday. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it immediately. I do appreciate the thought because with uh, the worms and the ruins, uh, any, any gears I can get up top is a good thing. Uh, Volca077 asked me to sing more and Someday I'll do that without the speed up and you'll hear what I really sound like and y'all will quit asking that. Oh, Brian Black mentioned that uh, I might try just double swings on tree guards. And uh, unless I'm tired or out of sync, sometimes I'm just a half a, a move out or whatever. I don't usually have near that trouble. Sometimes I, I'm golden on them. Sometimes I'm sloppy. But to tell you the truth on that one, and I didn't say anything because I don't like to bitch, but... Uh, that attack he was adding on one attack. If you watch that very closely, you'll see that I had already stopped, started moving back on some of those fourth swings. And I did not initiate the fourth swing. I was doing threes. And for some reason, the F key was throwing in an extra one. Now, some of those I probably would have, like I said, it's not an excuse. Some of those I probably would have got hit anyway. But there's a couple of them you will notice I had started moving back, and I did not move back and hit the F key at the same time. So it's uh, it's thrown in an extra one that I'm not initiating. So you might watch out for that. A lot of this stuff, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like to be. Some of what they're doing seems terribly sloppy these days. Um I mean, I'm sure it looks fine in their little computer stuff, but if they were actually playing the game, they'd want to tighten it up. And Ty C said there is an igloo on the map at the arch that is much closer to me. Now, the igloo that I was setting up is here. And my camp is here. There's a beehive there. There's a wormhole there. And I'm just flat not seeing another igloo. And up this way would be closer to me. That is a cave. That's a headstone. That's a rock. 
I'm not saying it's not there, but I'm certainly not saying that that's a rock. And I would take it on the arch to mean, because from here, my base, this would be the arch. I don't see an igloo anywhere in that. The only things I see is there's some rocks here. Yeah, there's some rocks here. And there's a cave. So I don't see anything else. So I may be missing it, but I'm sure not seeing it. And that's a beehive. Well, that's not the arch anyway. The arch is right here. And the only thing I'm seeing here is that cave. And naturally it's raining. Thing is, there's no point in wasting a good rainstorm. This is what keeps me from getting anything done. I need a good dry spell. Oh crap, we've got to decide whether to make another top. I think I'll just make another top out. I've got the silk. Now hopefully we'll get light- oh shoot, I don't care about that. Get lightning struck and uh... I can harvest all these sticks and grass with quickness. I would have to, uh, I don't want to get lightning struck in the field, do I, derp? <laughs> that would have been unfortunate, to say the least. Where's my Brelly for after I get, well, I don't want to get lightning struck. Alright, there's, uh, system overload. Now, the problem we have is I don't have anything to do. <laughs> oh, well. Bad plan's a bad plan. The problem is I can still get lightning struck. That does max out, max out the hit points. So, it's probably about 288. Because rain takes one, I guess. Now, this was originally what that stupid uh, cave uh, worm thing did. And then they really nerfed the amount of light. It was just really scary what they did to it. Uh, there is a problem with only one refrigerator, and that's uh, I usually use one for seeds. Okay, a beekeeper hat can't be opened in the first machine, and that takes the second one. Figure we'll go do things with our piggy wigs tomorrow. And then probably chop wood, and then probably turn pigs into wear pigs. I haven't been in Wilson's world because I just... See, the thing with uh, those cave worms is they're set up on the hound mechanism, supposedly. And what that means is that, uh, all right, if you have hounds and you were to actually outrun all of them, then uh, what would happen is those hounds would not despawn ever. They would be around the world somewhere. And then the next time, like if you got 10 hounds. So the next time you got hounds, you would have 20 hounds. And if you avoided all those, then you would have 30 hounds. Now, some of the best advice I've seen is just run from the cave worms. But if you do that, does it mean you get six cave worms and 12 cave worms and 18 cave worms? I don't want to solve Wilson's problem by filling his cave up full of worms <laughs> and then having to go down there. Now, what I read on Toothy Traps, because this might be up before anything from Wilson, is uh, Toothy Traps do and don't work on them. Number one, the damage they do is almost non-existent to a cave worm. <laughs> but number two, evidently they have to come up right on the trap. So you have to run round and round and round to try to get them to come right up on the trap. So, and then you're doing really marginal damage to them. So it's, uh, so that's a, a, a kind of a no-go. So what is it? Oh. And bunnies and the, the clockwork things, they can just kill those. And it's not complex. I should have made another spear. Chester, are you full of crap? I gotta keep remembering to take me with him with us since we don't... Yeah, you're full of crap. Screw it. I don't think I have any... I can't believe I don't have spoilage from, you know, rot. Like a million rot at this... Oh, shit. Forgot my monster meat, too. Well, it's too late to hire pigs. Let's just make hats and uh, make pig houses. And I'll pull my head out of my behind and we'll go harvest the uh, wood and stuff. Maybe make some... There's my rot, you nasty pigs. I didn't think about that. 
I see you eating all that stuff. Here, eat all this stuff. Nice, tasty pig food. Now, you can just drop a pile, but you're kind of counting on them to run across that pile. So, it's kind of marginal. Whatever you feel like doing. Uh, so... Well, what might be best is to start extending the village back this way. And then uh, the Krampus thing would be partially resolved. I don't think extending it any near the, the birds is a good idea. So let's make a little gap. Piggy houses! Now, I kind of like uh, Wilson's organic look where they just kind of look like they're sprawled wherever. But I got to think, well, actually, the pigs kind of go where you find them anyway. I'm thinking if you get the right angle on them, this will be easier to find them. Okay, putting hats on pigs accomplishes nothing. <laughs> I do get that question. It is a logical question when you see somebody putting this much effort. All right, we can't do it anymore. Uh, that's just a stupid amount of silk. But we're opening a gladiator school here. Go to Google and open gladiator secutor. S-E-C-U-T-O-R. And, uh, shit, I didn't bring any food, buddy. <laughs> and it was a buzzy little town the, the piggies lived in. Uh, poop and rot. Uh, brown poop is the base of poop. Brown poop is one. Uh, rot or spoilage is 0.5. White poop is 1.5. White poop is the gold standard of poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I couldn't get it out with a straight face. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I needed that laugh. I've been kind of down lately. That's, uh, I took a little break from the game. Took a little break from all games. And... Uh, <sighs> Uh, it just happens. Need to get my ass over there and start chopping trees. Come on, Chester, we got work to do. Did I pick you up or not? Where's your eyeball? Alright, we got Chester. Uh, oh, to hell with it. It takes them two days to do their thing. make such cute noises, Chester. Yeah, you do. Okay, did I get food? Yep, 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 yep. I can't think of anything else. Uh, now, what I can do is I can go down and start harvesting silk out of that mess where the uh, spiders and the tall birds are, and we can make more hats. They have a pretty good, pretty good pig village. Usually I don't have one like this. I'm trying to think who that was. I think it was Dylan and Volka were kind of the instigators for this. Uh, the gladiatorial school, that is. If you get enough pigs, it doesn't... Oh, shit. What have I done? Uh, you get enough pigs, it doesn't really matter if uh, tree guards turn up or not. Now that's about the end of the piggy day. Well, let's see. Uh, I could make no. I could make quite a few work pigs. All right, let's uh, wear pig guys. Should have brought some stone and did I never make a permanent fire pit over here? I guess I didn't. They all, they all go for the one seed. Oh no, are they going home home? I hadn't counted on that. Well. Oh, they ran out. Yeah, well, I'll get them in the morning. Yes, beware of friends at the end of the night. 
And of course the meat's in the bag. Always. Oh shoot. You are not Spartacus. I am Spartacus. <laughs> oh. Let's do the one I got bitched out about in the comment. Why did you give that pig a hat and then kill him 15 seconds later? Because I can. Uh oh. <laughs> WX learned pugilist the cestus. The cestus. Oh, the original brass knuckles. There you go, piggy. Oh, uh, well, piggies, that's about all I had for you guys. Might be all the piggies now. Four piggies. Come, my piggy is. It's time for your first training exercise. Come, my gladiators, we are descending upon the Talbert Fortress. Attack! Oh no, we have a, a gladiator down, gladiator down. What do you mean am I going to fight? Of course I'm not going to fight. I can't see my hit points. Uh oh. <laughs> Save me my gladiators. My armor has run out. <laughs> Some leader I am. Yes, I think I will pick up loot while you bravely uh Uphold the school standards. How did he get the pigs on him too? Or are they on the tall boat? Alright, I see you have foully collaborated against my brave students. <laughs> I've got the camera stand in the way of my, uh, well, let's, uh, do the intelligent thing here and make armor. <laughs> Before I get my ass kicked. Oh. Now, I don't know if that uh, beekeeper hat goes down. And, oh, I think earlier I was mentioning about the hats. And uh, and he needs a bush hat. Um, football hats actually do provide protection even on pigs or any way they used to. I'm sorry, I can't think. Of it. Sometimes I can't talk and do anything at the same time. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> what a poop lanista I am. I'm the master of the poop school of gladiating. Now I need this silk. I have badly used my resources. Uh oh, let's rescue the hat. Get off me. teeth I wouldn't mind having. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't see any of my stuff. What time is it? I got some time. If we uh, pull the spiders out on this side, oh, there aren't any spiders. We'll do it. Now, I'm kind of tempted to harvest that egg. Come on over here, tall birds. I got something for you. It's called spiders. Well, maybe I got something for me. It's called spiders. That's the one I ought to kill. Well, that actually made the harvesting very easy. I guess they bumped all of them off. Well, let's see. We have a torch made, right? Yeah. I can't believe that thing didn't wake up. 